Pinning and spreading butterflies and moths in addition to other groups of insects are a routine activity in any natural history museum and by insect hobbyists. The ability to pin and mount insects in a proper way is an art in itself and requires a great deal of patience and practice. Insects are collected and preserved for both education and art by scientists, amateur entomologists, teachers, students and hobbyists. For pinning insects, special types of pins called insect pins or entomological pins are used. These special pins come in different sizes ranging from number 000 to number 7. There are also tinier pins called minutin pins which are used for pinning very tiny insects such as mosquitoes. Number 0 to number 2 sizes of pins are most commonly used for pinning insects. Different groups of insects have different sides for pinning as a general rule as seen in this diagram. The red dots on each insect indicate the site where the insect pins has to go through for that particular order of insects. In this video, I'll be showing you how to pin and spread a butterfly specimen. First off, gather the materials required for this. A butterfly specimen, which may either be a freshly caught or a rehydrated specimen. Insect pins. Tweezers and pins. Butter paper strips. Scissor. A spreading board, optionally with grids drawn or printed on the board surface. You can use a ready-made wooden spreading board or make your own from styrofoam like the one shown in this photo. To begin the pinning process, take the butterfly specimen. Carefully open the wing using a blunt end forcep to avoid damages to the wings. Introduce an insect pin of appropriate size right through the center of the thorax. Make sure that the pin is at right angle to the specimen plane at all sides. This requires a bit of patience and practice. Once the pin has been inserted correctly, position the specimen in the central groove of the pinning board in such a way that the body of the specimen lies in the groove. Using two pins, secure the body of the specimen by pinning on both sides of the abdomen, just below where the hind wings originate from the body. The specimen is now ready for spreading. For the spreading process, take a sheet of butter paper and place it on top of the wings on one side. Hold the forewing at its thickest part called the costal vein using either a fine tipped pin or a tweezer and slowly and carefully pull the wing upwards until the inner margin of the forewing is approximately at 90 degrees to the body. Now, secure the wing in this position by inserting pins through the butter paper at several places along the margin of the wing. Follow the same process with the hind wings. Position the hind wing such that the costa of the hind wing lies just below the dorsum of the forewing. Secure the hind wing by inserting pins through the butter paper at several places along the margin of the wing. Do the same with the wings on the other side. Now position the antennae using pins and tweezers as seen in this video. Now carefully remove the two pins that were used to secure the body of the specimen and reinsert them below the abdomen such that they form a cross onto which the abdomen rests on the same plane as the wings. The butterfly is now pinned and spread. Leave the spreading board in a warm, dry and secure place away from insects and pests for a week or two to dry. Once the specimen has dried, carefully remove the pins used to secure the wings, abdomen and antennae. Remove the butter paper sheets from the wings. Carefully remove the pinned butterfly from the spreading board. If the specimen was pinned for educational or research purposes, 
prepare an appropriate label containing all necessary information pertaining to the specimen. Pin these labels below the specimen. Your butterfly is now ready.